Hey everybody, this is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. Welcome to another uh, video update of uh, the garden for this year, 2018. It is now May, first week in May, and the garden is just starting to get hopping. Um, it's been real cold, had some uh, ice storms come through a couple weekends ago. That finally cleared up. Uh, I had some rainstorms last weekend, um, some really bad uh, wind and hail and and just really bad weather. Um, and that's cleared up a little bit. We had some really hot temperatures the last couple days. And so things are just really, really weird right now. So uh, I'm gonna take you through the garden and show you what's going on so far. Um, and we'll go from there. So this bed here uh, is my rose bed. For those of you guys who've been staying tuned, this is where I have my roses and then I have some other flowers in here. I have some irises planted there, some gladioluses back there, and then uh, daffodils right there. So it just gives some pop of color when you first walk in the garden. It's not just veggies and stuff, but it's also some flowers. And it helps our pollinator friends too because they have this this area just just full of a lot of different colors and flowers that um, they can feed on as well until the um, the plants and stuff go in bloom. So, and then here is my potato bed, um, one of my potato beds. It had uh, railroad ties around it, and we took all those out because they just took up way too much room and uh, they're just not necessary anymore because we know where the low dip is and so uh, right now I have um, fencing around it because I had chickens out here and they were digging the dickens out of it and uh, well potatoes need to stay covered so I had to kick them out and put a cage around it for now and then this is my herb bed over here um, you can see we got quite a bit of green going on we have a lemon balm there that's come up it's nice and green we have a valerian which this is its third year so I can actually this fall um, harvest some of it to uh, store for medicinal use uses because you have to wait till they're at least two or three years old to have a really good root system before you start harvesting the roots <clears throat> And then my chives came up, and um, they almost always do. Chives are one of those plants that it's kind of hard to kill. Um, and then in my buckets, I have my mugwort and my buckwheat. It looks like they're starting to come up. They, um, they're not perennials or anything. They just continue to reseed, so they drop seeds in them. And um, if you're not careful, they'll spread all over. That's why I have them in buckets. And then this ferny stuff, this is yarrow that's come up. And right here, you can't probably see it on the camera, but my white whorehound's come up. Whorehound looks a bit like a mint. It's got the mint kind of texture. But this plant is um, just really delicate right now. So continuing to watch that. And then uh, calendula starting to come up. Or not calendula, sorry. This is purple coneflower that's starting to come up. Echinacea. Then over here I have sage that's starting to come up on the stems. And this is where my fig tree is supposed to be coming up. It hasn't uh, started growing yet, so we're waiting and seeing. And then I have some of my onions I planted last year. They're doing all right. Some more lemon balm there. And here I got my bean trellises finally up. I had this one and this one, and then we just put in this one and that one. And so I planted my beans here today, and then uh, beans there and there, and then on that side is my peas. So, and then my milk jugs. I'll take you over there in a minute. I was really excited. Um, my hydrangeas, I'm going to spin around here. My hydrangeas are starting to come up. So it would be nice to see what color that they're going to be, because hydrangeas are either blue or pink depending on the acidity or of your soil and if you have a plant that has a mixture of blue and pink it means your soil is perfect so we're watching that my mints coming up my chocolate mint there and then I have spearmint here I 
This is bee balm. I'm hoping it gets real good and lush this year. Last year it was kind of scarce. Um, parsley. Uh, it's not usually a, a perennial that I know of, but we had somewhat of a mild winter, so it's it's still there. <clears throat> Another lemon balm plant. And then we have some garlic here and there. These are one of my lavender plants here, and you're not going to be able to see it at this time, but it's actually starting to regrow. And then this is cilantro. So really excited about that. And then the all the rhubarbs are nice and lush again. So and then my strawberry bed back here. Bunch of strawberries. We really got to clean this out. I'm probably going to pull all the plants out and do a deep mulch on this side and um, just redo this bed completely because it's just a mess. We uh, have a cow pasture that borders our garden. So if, we're, if we don't take care of it as far as making sure it's mulch really good on our side, the grass from the pasture just comes on in. <clears throat> and over here, this is a catnip plant. I took it from the other catnip plant that's in the rose bed. That's, that one uh, over in the rose bed is a little slow right now. And so that's what I got going on besides all these uh, weeds which I get to start pulling out soon. So, and then under these cups I have some peas, trying to get them a head start, but I haven't seen a head start yet. So, and then all my jugs here, I'll show you a couple of them. I got about 150 to 200 jugs um, where I start all my seeds. And uh, there's no way I could do all these inside, and they do much better out here anyways. Um, they're a hardier uh, plant, so when you go to transplant them, they're, uh, they're a lot better. So, I have, I have one teeny tiny marigold that's growing in there. Probably can't see it. But, um, but I have some tomatoes growing. Let's see, see some tomatoes. And I just had to move these around because I replanted. This is some more of that yarrow. This is actually a pastel mix, so it'll be a lot of different colors. And then let's see what else I have over here. Doo -doo. Like I said, I have a lot of them. It's just that I moved all my jugs today because I had to reconfigure my garden. All right. Those are snapdragons. You can see I have a bunch of seedlings in there. I overseeded that big time. And then I have some shallots. <clears throat> this is squash. So that's coming up. Let's see. I'll take it around to the other jugs. They're so neat to see. Oh, there's another mint plant here. I try to mark all my plants that are just starting to come up with these tomato cages. That way we don't accidentally step on them. Alright. Here's some carrots there. And some broccoli there. Some dill there. Let's see what else we got. Some more marigolds there. And more carrots there. <clears throat> and these are my first time growing these this year. These are garbanzo beans. Really, really neat looking at. My galardias. Some more garbanzo beans. Let's see. This broccoli is doing really, really good. Lettuce. Lots and lots of lettuce in there. So, And then I have some coxcomb that I'm growing this year. First time ever. There we got some in there. Pie pumpkins have come up. So this method does work really well. You just have to be patient with it. The one problem I had this year was the tape. The tape was just a disaster this year. Look at how lush those are. So I've had to retape quite a few of these jugs like five different times 
because the tape was not was just not holding the share. It was just being a pain. That's like the adhesive was not good on it at all. Not quite sure about it, but we got it fixed and we're having success. Here's some more lettuce here. Isn't it gorgeous? So I'm really excited. Has some leaks going on in here. Beautiful leaks. We got some more here. So this method works very well. You just have to be patient with it. So those will get planted out here in probably about a month or so. Our last frost date here isn't until um, the end of May. So <clears throat> and over here. These are my elderberry bushes. They are now starting to grow out their new limbs for the year. Very excited about that. So that's going on, what's going on with the garden this year, as of right now. And uh, as always, we'll keep you updated because it's just a fun journey as the gardens grow. My tires are holding my other uh, uh, potatoes and they're not even up yet so nothing going on there yet but um, I'll keep you guys updated and if there's anything that you want to know or any questions or whatever you can always leave a comment down below and I'll answer your question as best as I can so I just thank you so much for watching I hope that you're having a blessed day bye bye